Hi Brian I know you've had some background in commercial law. Can I ask you a question? Of course, what's up? Well, last week I bought a Segway from a Segway dealer and I'm really dissatisfied with it. Is there anything I can do? Well it depends, what happened? Well, after buying it I rode it back to my apartment a few blocks away. It made strange noises the entire way, but I made it. But then in the morning, it wouldn't turn on at all and the motor made a loud screeching noise. At first I thought maybe I needed to charge it. So I left it charging the whole day while I was in class. But when I came back, it did the same thing. Hmm, what did you do next? I called the dealer and told him that I'd like to reject the Segway for a full refund because the motor was defective, he said. But, you've already accepted the Segway by driving it off the lot you can no longer reject. What if you bring it in and we'll take a look at it? So I brought it in. He said they would take a motor from the test drive Segway and replace mine but I refused and asked for my money back. He refused. Can you help? Of course, well, technically you didn't accept the Segway since it is reasonable for you to have a brief inspection period before true acceptance occurs. And because the motor of a Segway plays such a substantial role in its usability for you, you can technically reject. I can? Even though he offered to replace the motor with a used one? Yes, because he did not offer you an effective cure which requires a conforming tender. In your case, you can reject the good since he did not offer you a new segue. This is what the courts call the shaken faith doctrine. Wow! Thank you so much for all your help, I can't wait to tell the dealer how the UCC protects me. Anytime Amy. Glad I could help and put my college commercial law class to good use.